And welcome to Nerdstalker. I am Adolfo Franda at Nerdstalker on Twitter, Nerdstalker TV on YouTube, and Nerdstalker.com and all the places. Give us a like, subscribe. Okay, so today I'm covering Dreamforce. 2019? 2019, that's the year. I myself was fortunate enough to be invited back. I am going to talk about the swag. One of the really things that I love about uh, Dreamforce every year is we get backpacks, really good backpacks. So here, hopefully you can see, is a sort of a, a rather thin type of backpack this year for like a thin uh, notebook or a thin sort of laptop. Um, it's very lightweight. Uh, they have these buckles on the side to sort of compress the width of it if needed. There's a pocket on the side here. Uh, the pocket had some sort of paper stuff, and it came with a water bottle, which we will discuss uh, quick, uh, shortly. And there's a little, yeah, did I talk about this pocket already? Yeah, obviously the straps, which you can extend, water bottle pocket, extra, one external pocket. And the logo, too, they have, like, the little Dreamforce trailhead or whatever this, this particular logo is, I forget. And then the Dreamforce logo. Uh, they have a Salesforce logo on the strap and the Blazer Trail. So their branding for all kinds of stuff is sort of everywhere. And their design is really cool. With Trailhead and in particular Dreamforce itself, there's sort of this outdoorsy uh, sort of explorer type of uh, motif with the trees, trails, ranger kind of things to help guide you. So there's this padded interior. Let me unbuckle these side buckles to make it wider so I can actually open this thing. So there's a laptop pocket, a padded pocket on the inside here. And there's the usual sort of smaller pockets with the pen holders. What was really interesting is this year it didn't really come with any sort of commercial stuff inside of it. There were no like brochures or anything from any sponsors or other companies that I noticed. There was nothing in here, um, which is kind of a relief in a way because a lot of that stuff is wasted anyways. That's the kind of stuff there usually is. There was no like pens, carabiners, uh, flashlights or anything like that that there usually is. Uh, there was just the backpack and the water bottle. I like it. I like the bag anyways. It's very utility, very useful. I find myself using these year after year, these Dreamforce bags. So uh, really grateful for that. Uh, came with this particular, this bottle, which is by a company called Cup Anion. And it's uh, of course BPA free. It's like super durable. It's kind of like a plasticky type of uh, thing, the no spill. And it looks kind of funky right now because I actually used it at the conference. So there was actually water in it. Uh, there's Dreamforce branding on it, uh, Salesforce branding right there. There's a, a little design, I don't know if it's focusing, but little design uh, in terms of a stream going to the woods or something, a Dreamforce. And the logo for the Capanion, I believe that's her logo. Anyway, it's like a little goat or something like that for fill it forward on the App Store if you have a water bottle, I don't even think it has to be this one, and you stick this little sticker to this particular water bottle, I think you scan it every time you fill it up or something like that with the app. It sort of like tracks your progress in terms of how much water you're drinking, sort of gamifies the whole thing. Plus they claim to give uh, some water to uh, someone who needs water, clean water, with every time you fill it, something like that. So I, I'm, I'm new to it, so I don't know. I haven't used the app, I don't know. Um, so we'll see, but it, it's kind of, it's kind of interesting to see all these things and, and the event itself didn't have any meat because of the environmental impact is what uh, Salesforce sort of stated in the literature that I read. So it's interesting interesting to see these corporations now and for a while now, right? They've been sort of, uh, you know, taking a stand in terms of what they sort of their beliefs, right? Their, not only their why, but what they sort of stand for, their culture. And we see this with Chick-fil-A, right? We see this in and out Burger and Salesforce as well. I guess so if these other corporations are doing it, uh, Salesforce, why not Salesforce or any other corporation to sort of uh, reflect their culture, or what they believe in. You know, uh, how you feel about it is sort of up to you. What's really amazing about Dreamforce is not only the slew of classes and products that Salesforce has to sort of illuminate to the new user, the business user, and the deep technical user in terms of classes and keynotes and just one-on-ones with experts, but also the conference itself really should be studied by anyone who puts on a conference at any level. Obviously, your bigger budget is going to is going to help. But even from the smaller level, it's what I'm blown away by with Dreamforce. It's a lot like Disneyland in that you can't cover it in a day, right? You just can't do it all in a day. You can't even do it like the whole time you're there, really. There's just too much information and things to see. And also the attention to detail in terms of the user experience and the design of the conference itself on every sort of level from like an audible level that you're hearing things, especially seeing things, right? And even touching things, you know, going back to this trailhead sort of motif and the motif of Salesforce in, in terms of like the rangers, the guides that sort of guide you. There's these uh, employees that 
that are dressed sort of like rangers where they can guide you to various locations. There's all these sort of uh, decorative motifs of all these like faux trees, faux bushes, faux animals. It really feels like you're going to another world in a way, you know, is as sort of extreme as that sounds. I'm kind of blown away because everywhere you turn, there are all these little things. You know, there's airstreams with like cool events in it. There's little mini bridges that you can cross to feel like you're going over sort of some sort of thing. Like, and you can hold like kayak paddles and take pictures and selfies and things like that. Interweaved with it all is the experience of the actual sort of deep content, right? So there'll be kiosks and stands for various uh, types of technologies, whether it's Einstein, their AI, uh, type of situation, um, lightning, good old fashioned CRM, kids encoding, and they do a lot of uh, philanthropic type of community events as well, community education, community uh, support type of things. They're really everywhere. Uh, and their speakers are, holy hell, their speakers are just, I mean, they got Obama is speaking, right? Tim Cook spoke yesterday morning as of this recording anyways. Who else do they have? The CEO of Gucci. They had Eddie Vedder is talking, Robin Wright Penn, um, Ariana Huffington. She seems to be everywhere. And uh, a lot of other really heavy hitters. It's super impressive in terms of not only the talent that they book or the speakers they book, but just the overall design aesthetic, the guides, uh, all the different locations, the various buildings, the shuttles, the food, the drinks. The entertainment, holy hell, the entertainment on the uh, main, uh, whatever you call it, veranda, outdoor uh, pavilion area. The bands that they booked were just the free daytime bands are amazing. They're having Fleetwood Mac play. You should have seen the press room. The press room was amazing. It was all decorative, uh, faux leaves. It stayed with the entire sort of trailhead sort of motif of these faux trees, faux grass. They don't have to do that. A lot of press rooms are just barren sort of open conference rooms because it's just press people, right? Uh, but they really go above and beyond to try to make everyone uh, really deeply feel the experience of, of being at Dreamforce on every level. It's totally crazy. Even if you can't get in, if you can go like even from the outside and sort of look at it, and just sort of study it, fathom the amount of planning that went into it just from a high level. It's it's a giant event and it's a giant endeavor. And I could only imagine what the meetings are like and the plotting of the various uh, locations and the coordinating of the people and the coordinating of the construction crews and, and the designers. Check out our Instagram at NerdStalker and you'll see some photos, some videos of the event. Dreamforce itself has live streaming. Their website is uh, pretty extensive. They have announcements, get ready, schedule, speakers, trail maps, sessions at the expo itself, certification information. Just a little update on Dreamforce. I'm Adolfo Fronda at NerdStalker on Twitter, NerdStalker TV. Check us out at all the places. Subscribe and like this video. Thanks for your time.